Well, as the numbers remain high, health departments along the Wasatch Front are working hard to reduce the spread through contact tracing. But as new specialist Mike Anderson explains, those workloads in some cases only seem to be getting bigger. Mike? Yeah, Ashley, you know, add to that the fact that they want to contact each of those people exposed within 24 to 48 hours, and that workload gets very busy, and right now health department workers are having to push aside their usual duties to focus on contact tracing. The work done inside these offices Adriana, estoy del Departamento de Salud. We is aimed at keeping already high case numbers down. On average, you're probably going to spend about two to four hours working with a case. Unfortunately, because of privacy laws, we can't show you the exact contact tracing calls being made. In fact, they're all done behind closed doors here at Weaver Morgan Health. A lot of people are pitching in, even accountants. Our numbers have gone up um, pretty steadily um, and pretty sharp increases over the last week or two. Communicable disease and epidemiology nurse Amy Carter says they're asking people exposed to COVID-19 to quarantine for around 14 days. She says it's what they have to do to reduce the spread. We've been working pretty hard um, pretty much seven days a week. It feels like around the clock, um, you know, for several months now. But down the road in Salt Lake County. It's taken over everything. You know, for me, I eat, sleep, drink, dream. <laughs> I, you know. Lee Cherie Booth, a public health nurse, says they're making some changes to keep up with their current spike in cases. We're going to try to put some responsibility onto the person that is positive for COVID, who we call the index case, and have them reach out to their social contacts. They made that adjustment just this week, allowing investigators to focus on some of the more difficult cases. So far, she says most people are willing to do what they need to do. There's so much of this going on that we need to, to have everyone's help involved. And that's also why Weaver Morgan and Salt Lake County are among the health departments around the state that are hiring additional temporary help to get them ahead on that contact tracing along with some other responsibilities to ideally get those employees to get back to their usual job duties. Back to you. Mike Anderson live for us in Ogden tonight. Thank you.